Good morning, folks. It's, uh, it is November 21st, 2019. Currently, you know, it's the morning. I'm just sitting at the window contemplating what to do today. <coughs> there isn't uh, much that really interests me right now. Um, one of the other restaurants that I wanted to go check out, CM77. Um, it's quite a ways out from here. It's about an hour ride, and I don't want to spend that kind of money, like six or seven hundred baht, just to get there and spend like I don't know, fifteen hundred baht on a river shrimp, you know, arm size, forearm size uh, river shrimp. So I'm still debating if I want to do that, um, but you know. There's plenty of river shrimps in the city, within the city, but just not that size. I can just get down, down the street, down, downstairs from uh, one of the stalls. So, yeah, no, I don't think that's, that's worth it. So, yeah, today is just, uh, I'm just pondering what I want to do. Um, it's hot, really. Um, this city life is not for me. I, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> What can I do? Oh, there's not much, not much to do out here, um, besides, you know, tours, uh, um, visiting the zoo or temples. I, I can't do it. Uh, just, it's not, uh, not for me. I went to one of the temples yesterday. I went to Wat Pho, uh, the reclining Buddha yesterday, and yeah, that was, that was pretty much it for the the cultural stuff. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, honestly, I'm. I think this this leg of the trip is just a bust for me. I'm just not in it. Um, I don't feel it. I, you know, I just feel like just 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 laying around vegging all day right now, or maybe I'm just tired of traveling. I do I do miss home. Well, that's been what six weeks now, and uh, it's great. You know, traveling is great, uh, but traveling with no purpose is even harder. I thought I had a purpose. Uh, well, 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 the original purpose is just to try to figure out what I want to do for the rest of my life uh, when I get back. And honestly, I haven't thought about it. Um, I started working on my resume a bit, but no, I kind of stopped doing that. Maybe I'll just, you know, I'll, maybe I'll just revisit that today or something that after that lady clean, comes and cleans the room, which is not much. There's not much to clean. It's just one guy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, you know, the city thing is not me. Last week being in Singapore, it was great. You know, the company was great with, with Jay, you know, a lot of fun, a lot of food. But overall, I can I don't think I could uh, do that. I guess that's with anywhere I went anywhere in the world, right? As Jay asked me where where would I live? Would be rich and live in a poor country or or be in the middle somewhere? And I'll say I said uh, I'll I'll be rich and live in a poor country, but Indonesia was, was great, but the infrastructure was horrible. I guess I'm just diving every day, uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't think I can do that. Um, you know, I thought about being a dive instructor, and I don't think it's it's for me right now. Um, honestly, you gotta be so patient. Like, um, met this uh, dive instructor Laura at uh, Gilier and she was amazing she was very patient with Jay did everything showed him everything um, took care of him and that was you know that, that that takes a lot of patience and I don't think I am at that point uh, where I'm very patient I know myself I'm an impatient person and I don't have that uh, I don't have that right now um, so I did get my master, my master scuba dive. I just uh, I received notice uh, that my application has been processed and the material and all that's been sent back home. But yes, I do have my master scuba dive. So from there, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go. I can be in, like I said, I could be instructor. I have the options of being instructor and going pro IDC. But uh, I need to think about that. I don't know. 
just uh, just living on living at a, uh, a dive site uh, like just for example Gilly Air a couple weeks ago um, you know living on an island and just uh, just scuba diving all day and helping teaching it, it's tough uh, just uh, day in day out like that uh, especially when there's not much to do on an island Gilly Air is small five kilometer circumference and honestly you can meet you can get to know everyone very quickly um, so I don't know I don't know um, just just talking to one of the dive masters Amy um, which is a fantastic girl um, honestly she's a, she she made me fell in love <laughs> just kidding just kidding um, no uh, like I just you know we just we just briefly talked and um, she is leaving she her visa's expiring her and her boyfriend's expire uh, Carl I think that's his name we call him Lionel Sanders because he has this uh, mustache and he's this big guy but anyways yeah their their visas are expiring uh, by December and heading back to the US so seems like a lot of uh, these dive masters they just uh, jump from uh, from dive center to dive center and uh, you know I don't think I can I'm able to do that. just do that I think I need to be hunkered down somewhere I don't know I'm just I'm just blabbering um yeah I don't I don't know what I'm doing guys honestly this you know to be able to travel like this is a privilege um, honestly I'm grateful but at the same time I am lost <laughs> honestly I'm lost um, I don't know where I'm what I'm doing what I want to do I'm just doing things for the sake of doing things and uh, it's, it's, it's just messed up or I'm, I don't know if I'm missing home um, I don't want to go home but I feel like I should go home it's only been six weeks um, you know I've run into a lot of people on this trip and they're either trying six months a year and I, I don't know I don't know how these people do it um, yeah but not everything is, uh, you know, daisies. There's there are down times, and I think I'm just in a slump right now. Unfortunately. Anyways, I think I should just uh, get up. It is almost 11 o'clock, I think. I don't know where my phone is, but yeah, it's somewhere over there. I should uh, just head out, grab a breakfast somewhere, and. Uh, do something do something maybe find a coffee that's what i need i need a coffee all right that's enough of me blabbering i'm gonna get up and go all right guys see you in a bit three hours later you know what, guys you know what makes you feel better a good hard run when you feel crappy sorry about it earlier Felt kind of negative a little bit earlier, but you know what? I did a workout, did some weight, did a 10 kilometer run on the treadmill, and I'm feeling back to normal. Oh, oh 1.30. I haven't eaten anything yet, but I'm not actually hungry. I'm gonna fast until uh, a little bit later on, like around five or six, and then, uh, Grab dinner, grab um, one meal. Oh, feels great. Feels great to uh, get some exercise done. It's been now, uh, what, a week since my last one with Jay? It feels good. It feels good. All right, I think I'm gonna do some min work, follow up with some emails about this liveaboard in uh, Phuket. Probably wanna do a Simulan uh, dive for a week. And, uh, and then see where I'll go from there. Yeah, so next week, Phuket, guys. Oh, all right, let me uh, dry myself off and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.
think I'm in Chinatown right now. All right, I gotta look for a coffee. Uh, and then, um, oh, here's a map here. Where am I? Why does it say where am I? Church, 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 Chinatown area. Got a grab from the hotel. It was pretty quick. Uh, it was 91 baht. Uh, I forgot how much that cost. I think that's under like under five bucks or something like that. Better than taking the taxi. So there's a whole bunch of uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, I'm just gonna walk around and see what they have around here. made it to TK Seafood. I'm um, just going through the menu and uh, I'm gonna get some food in. I haven't eaten all day, been fasting, so I get a few dishes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. But everything does look good here. They do. So I ordered one of these. I got it small. Ordered one of these. Uh, grilled uh, squid. Small again. And of course, fried rice with egg, small uh, egg omelet, and morning glory. So it's gotta be a good time. All right, the other dishes are here. Here's an omelet, an oyster omelet. I think it's pretty big. Fried rice and the morning glory. Fried rice is pretty good. It has a good crisp on it. Yeah, but yeah look at this. It's I'm not gonna eat this all. Definitely a lot of a lot of oysters in this. Mm. They're good. I might have ordered too much food. Definitely need a couple more mouths. Oh, look at that! So juicy. So you need the head first, then let's do the tail. This is so good. This is so satisfying. Colin, Jay, Gringo, Chris, I wish you guys were here. Two. So I'm just gonna dip it in this uh, green sauce. Yeah. Wow. You guys know what that's about. Very spicy. Alright, last bit. This one doesn't have that much tamale either. Gibson, wish you were here. This is the real Gibson. <laughs> That's it, folks. Finished dinner, demolished it. Five, five course meal. Um, actually, I didn't finish the rice. I only ate half of it. But I'm heading back to the beginning of the street and I'm gonna grab a mango smoothie and then walk back this way and see what other street food I can grab along the way. Ooh, this is what, pomegranate? That uh, looks good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Anyway, that dinner just cost me 520, so hopefully I don't have to eat much later on tonight. But yeah, <clears throat> so far so good. Enjoying my uh, little food tour here. I'm, I was wrong. It was not a smoothie. It's just mango in a cup. I thought they're gonna blend it up, but I guess not. All right, I need some fruits anyways. All right, we can we press on forward, and we're gonna find some more food. Maybe I'll find another stall with mango sticky rice. Looks like a neat little joint. Whew. It's getting busy. The lights are coming up. 
All right, I'm in Somali. Lots of uh, variety of things down this alley. Oh, look at that. Tread squid. So I've been just walking up and down the streets and what I've noticed, there's a lot of freaking gold jewelry shops. Like, if you look, all those, those are all jewelry, gold jewelry shops. There's probably like a dozen of these on, all along the sides. They're everywhere. Yeah, I think this is another one right here. Look. Holy, how much gold does this place have? Honestly, every street is like... All the streets there again, like all that's all gold. Gold jewelry. That's just nuts. Hey buddy, what's up? Anyways. Very, very interesting. Gold everywhere. Alright, I gotta watch where I'm going. Uh, there's all these uh, drivers going around, tuk-tuks. I just want a coffee right now. Looking for a coffee shop, which I doubt I'm gonna find here. But maybe I'll just grab uh, some team bun. What's this? Another street. It's full of goods. Whoa! Should have went here instead. Come back for that. Follow me. Fruits. Oh. It's the fun stuff. <laughs> what? And a cockroach. Yes. Chicken, look. Steak. More fish. More veggies. Hmm. More balls. More balls. Jackfruit. We got everything here. All types of proteins. All right. Doesn't look like there's anything more down here. Definitely a lot of food, but I definitely don't want to try anything right now. I'm so full. But I'm looking at dessert. Tofu fa. I think I saw one on the other side that I might uh, try out. But this one doesn't have that much. I do want a mango sa sago. Mango sai mai lo. And uh, I think they have one on the other side. Definitely for Colin. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna head over back to the TK Seafood Street, which is down that way, and then uh, grab a grab a Chinese dessert on the following street. Hopefully, I don't get run over by these cars. And then I'm gonna make my way home. It's five five o'clock, but I'm tired. Man, Chinatown is pretty. This place is massive. I'm just like weaving in and out. I have no clue what. Time to head over to this. Alright, uh, drinking a lime shake. Couldn't find the team bun place that I wanted, so I'm just gonna get to go for this instead. This is nice and easier, nice and cooler. And, uh,. I'm gonna start walking home. Uh, not, there's not much I want to eat. There's so, eh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, there is a mall over there that I could have got a coffee shake, a latte, chiller, or something like that. But yeah, didn't want to be bothered with crossing the street. You know, the streets here are just crazy. All right, pretty much it. And uh, see you soon. All right, got my lime 
smoothie and let's head home.